India actually has already bought Iranian oil using gold instead of U.S. dollars. And this is extremely significant because every year India actually spends 12 billion U.S. dollars on Iranian oil. Um, and now actually Beijing is also saying that it might want to jump on board with New Delhi and also look into some sort of agreement with Iran to continue to get oil. Um, New Delhi and Beijing actually account for 40 percent of the imports of Iranian oil. The EU only counts for 20 percent. Um, obviously, we've been talking about all week about this oil embargo that the EU announced on Monday that they're hoping to roll out and put into place by July 1st. And obviously, if New Delhi and Beijing uh, find a way to continue trading with Iran using gold instead of U.S. dollars, this would uh, severely uh, hurt what the European Union and Washington is trying to do. Russia has also said that it wants to continue trading with Iran using domestic currencies instead of U.S. dollars. Obviously, the point of the EU oil embargo would be to bring Iran back to the negotiations table over its uh, nuclear program. Obviously, Iran has said uh, consistently maintained that this is a peaceful nuclear program. Um, the West believes that they are potentially developing nuclear weapons. So in response to the EU's announcement on Monday that it will place an oil embargo on Iran, um, Iran has said that it's going to shut the Strait of Hormuz, which is actually where 20 to 30 percent of the world's oil supply shuttles through. And the United States has said it will absolutely not allow that to happen, even sort of alluding to the fact that it could potentially use military force to make sure that that strait stays open. Moscow has also said that sanctions are uh, an obsolete form of sort of punishing a country and that um, it's actually going to be counterproductive. Um, another interesting thing to note here is that if Beijing and New Delhi continue to trade with Iran with gold, it's actually going to increase the value of gold and decrease the value of the U.S. dollar as the global reserve currency.